welcome back to my channel if you're new go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now and if you return again you already know what's up with us y'all been gang 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 let me stop playing but before we get into the video make sure you guys go ahead and like this video up comment down below because nobody be commenting nobody be liking nope i'm not gonna say that life with kalia and um my twin tatiana y'all we locked in we locked in okay uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel we are on the road to 500 so with the 500 we can do this giveaway i am giving away i'm not gonna tell y'all yet but i am giving away something to three actually so i'm gonna be one or two subscribers because i noticed that not many people are commenting and yeah y'all was just really on the road we on a mission Another disclaimer, y'all. I didn't feel like doing my hair. I didn't feel like doing my edges. I didn't. I didn't feel like doing nothing. If I look like a baby stud right now, I look like a stud. Just ignore it, okay? I, I know it's getting stud with the snap. I mean, with the, with the, whatever you want. What is this? That. Just ignore it. 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 Yeah, I'm wearing like this. I'm wearing like this. Y'all, I'm rambling too much. We're gonna go ahead and hop straight into the video. Y'all, y'all see by that title. This is gonna be an unpopular opinion based on everything that's been going on lately in the world. And yeah, you could either agree or disagree. Um, like I said, it's my opinion. So yeah, we're just gonna hop straight into it. Y'all already know the first topic is going to be Christian and Blueface. Y'all. I don't feel like Krishan is wrong for not letting him know when the baby was being born. I don't feel like she's wrong for wanting her only her and people that's close to her to be in the delivery room because he, Blueface gets all this negative energy. Like, don't nobody want to be around that. I'm sorry. Like, go see, she took her baby to church and stuff already. It's just, I feel like she's on the right path. She's cutting out all toxic ways and i just truly hope the best for her because yeah like he is i don't know like when they say he's the baby mama like he really is the baby mama like the daddy is the baby let me stop <laughs> y'all know that y'all know that saying if you're a mama and you ain't got your baby and your girl and your mama got your baby then you're not the mama your grandmama's the baby <laughs> but yeah i feel like She's doing the right thing, and everybody all in the comments talking about, oh, yet yeah, another single mother in a single race, I mean, a single parent household or whatever. Being in a two-parent household does not determine anything. It doesn't. Yeah, once I mean, yeah, at some points, like, your child is going to need, like, a fatherly figure or, like, a brotherly figure, you know, when it comes to growing up and stuff, but her baby just came out the womb. So, for everybody who want to say that, Oh, single parent household. Baby, you can come from a two parent household. You can still grow up fucked up. So let's just cut all that single parent, this single mom, that da da da, like that narrative. Shut up. And it's just like, y'all really think she want to see all that negativity after she just gave birth. Oh, if y'all hear something, that's the um fan right here. But y'all think she want to hear all that after she just gave birth? Like, let the girl be. Like, let her be. Let her grow to the person that she's becoming and just shut up okay for once about some sh that y'all don't know i mean i could say the same thing about me but i don't feel ooh, excuse me i don't feel like it's nothing wrong now. he's doing what's best for her like the baby ain't got time he ain't got time to have two mamas he need one mama and he need one dad and if he not gonna be the dad then he ain't gonna be nothing period period okay next topic and y'all probably gonna y'all probably gonna hate me for saying this but i personally feel like getting a bbl before 25 is you you doing a bit much like can you wait until your body like fully develops what are you doing getting a bbl at the age of 18 20 21 22 23 whatever this is my personal opinion now do feel free to do what you want to do but I just feel like it's crazy to get that because you're not even fully developed. Like, and it's not even a matter of being comfortable in your own skin. It's more so like, let your body fully develop. You don't know what's going to come in. And just like, what if you do get the BBL? Then next thing you know, you, you got hips that's coming in. Now you look like 
a ant. So if you want to walk around looking like an ant, then hey, you my guess. Not saying that everybody, not saying that everybody gonna uh, walk around looking like ants, but just think about it before you do it. Do what makes you happy. But in my opinion, I just feel like you should wait until your body is like fully developed. Like even I had my share of saying that oh, I'm gonna get a breast reduction. And, Cause if y'all have not paid attention, your girl has some ridiculously large um breasts and it tends to get annoying i ain't gonna lie like it it's annoying it's very annoying but i had to think to myself like i'm not even fully i'm not even fully developed yet i don't know if i get my breasts down to a certain size then next thing you know my body start growing a different type of way now i look funny you know what i'm saying like it's just i don't know i just rather wait until my body um wait until my body matures and then i can make the decision to see if i want to get the breast reduction or not which nine to the ten i'm not going to get the breast reduction but if i do y'all y'all already know that y'all gonna be um on the journey along with me y'all know y'all know next topic this lady that was hit with the brick in my opinion I feel like if you're not attractive, if you're not attractive to the male population or, you know, like everything that they look for in a woman these days, then you will tend to get hate for a lot of stuff. Now, me personally, I don't think that that was right, like to just sit right there and allow her to get hit in the head with a brick. Like that's, that's just, that's OD. I ain't gonna lie. And I just feel like like people a lot of people say that privilege privilege <laughs> pretty privilege doesn't exist but it definitely does because i think it's a recent situation that just happened that a, a woman got beat on by her boyfriend or something i don't know and people are reposting her on twitter well x and saying like oh he beat this up or he beat her up oh my gosh i would never da 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 and then a girl had responded y'all i wish i had the tweet right now so i can show y'all but I don't. I should have liked it. <laughs> and a lady was like, um, yeah, I feel like when it comes to um, a certain look or aesthetic that a woman has, then you'll be seen differently or whatever. And I agree with her. And people was responding in the retweets. They were saying, oh, well, don't be ugly. Oh, stop being ugly. Well, she shouldn't be ugly. Like... I just feel like grow up like oh my gosh this generation is doomed <laughs> this generation is doomed like boo boo more mature because that ain't it that's not the response that you're supposed to have especially you supposed to be a man that's some little bitch shit i mean that's some little boy sh i mean i'm just being honest like mm -hmm. but yeah next topic child because girl anyway i feel like personally if you are not 100 percent healed you have no business laying down and trying to have no kids now i don't have kids so it's not like i'm trying to speak from a, oh yeah i'm not trying to speak from that type of um perspective and nor am i trying to offend anybody but that's just the honest truth. Your kids who have yet to touch this world has no business going through any, like going through poverty with you, going through homelessness with you, going through any of that with you because they did not ask to be here. Just like I didn't ask to be here, they didn't ask to be here. I just got, I just went on a whole nother topic. I just feel like if you're not healed, then you are, you're not gonna do nothing but carry on that trauma onto your kid next thing you know your kid is going to carry that trauma if your kid have a kid they're going to carry that trauma onto their kids unless they choose to i mean unless they decide to like change up the um narrative or whatever which a lot of people are starting to do that and i love to see it but i just feel like you had no business having no kids if you wasn't 100 percent healed because now your kid is going through that same trauma that you went through when you was a kid all because what you went through because you was a kid so now they gotta suffer because you went through it i just feel like that's a fucked up mindset to have and 
you don't have no business doing that. Like, I'm not saying don't have sex, but wrap it up. Or if you respecting a child, try to change, like, at, throughout the pregnancy. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like no kids going through no trauma just because, oh, I went through it, so you gonna go through it. Like, I don't agree with that. Kids shouldn't know about growing up situations. Like, your kids should look at you like you're a superhero. Like, whenever something goes wrong, my mommy is going to fix it. My daddy is going to fix it. That's how your kids should look at you. Your kids should look at you like, oh, my gosh, my mom's going through this. My mom's going through that. I just feel like that's, that creates a, that creates anxiety at a young age. And I don't like, I don't like seeing kids young going through stuff like that. Like, it's just, mm -mm. But, yeah, that's all I got to say about that topic. All right, next up is, I don't feel like Mulatto is wrong. Y'all know the whole beef between her and Carly Rae. I get that she did say something about Carly Rae or whatever, but she cleared it up. They cleared it. They cleared up the. They cleared up the situation, and she basically gave her a shout out on one of her sets and said that. Oh, excuse me. Said that she loved her body and all that, so she wasn't dissing her. I personally, once I kept listening to it, I'm just like, I don't think that. I don't think that it was a diss like I don't know me personally I just don't think that this is a diss so Cole responded with a song and also put her on her butt at the BET Awards or wherever they was I don't know where they was hip-hop something like that and I feel like that's a diss that's like a low diss like so I don't blame her for putting something in in the song about her dad because key she told her that it was a misunderstanding and that she wasn't talking about her like that. Like, she was saying it in a good way. Like, she wasn't saying, like, talking about it, talking about her body in a bad way. But she took it there, so so that's what she's trying to make it be. And everybody talking about, oh, now she's just being the bully and she's just trying to pick. Da -da 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 -da. I don't think she's just trying to pick because she cleared it up. Now, last but not least, because this video is getting a little lengthy. And I got a trim and cut and all that. Y'all laying down having these babies. Talking about some y'all don't want no baby. Y'all just, I mean, y'all don't want to get married. Y'all just want to have a kid. Not saying that, like, marriage determines, not determines, but guarantees, like, that your family going to stay together. But what, what in your mind tells you, um, oh, yeah, I want to have me a baby, but I don't want to get married. I mean, answer, cause I I want to know. I really want to know. I'm I'm really flabbergasted that <laughs> a lot of people think like that. Like, what? How do you want to have? How could you want to have a kid but you don't want to get married? You don't want to experience that wedding experience. I've been to a wedding like two times, one time, really once, but what well, like wanting to have because I went to the reception of one, and but the other one I went through the whole thing because it's my sister's. I wish I was vlogging then, y'all. That would have been a oh, that would have been a beautiful vlog, y'all. Her venue was perfect. But anyway, back to the topic. At least, at least marriage is like a commitment. Like you know, you know, you swear by God and stuff, and you know, like I don't know. That's that's the way that it goes in the Bible. I hate seeing somebody pregnant or yeah, somebody pregnant. Whether you young, old, it don't matter. And you doing stuff by yourself. Like, I can't, I don't like saying stuff like that. Because I just feel like it's effed up that moms have to be moms 24-7. And dad, 24 seven, and dads just get to slack off and do whatever they want to do. And not to say that's for all dads. Because some dads are full-time dads and they take care of their kids. But it's still like everybody always looking for the mom. Unless the mom is deceased, everybody's always looking for a mom. Men always get crazed for doing what they're supposed to do as a dad but moms never like they are oh that's their job da, da. it's both of their jobs they both laid down and had the baby so it's both of the jobs to take care of the kid but yeah y'all that was the last topic of the video hopefully this is not too long and y'all watch to the end if you made it this far um we're gonna see matter of fact we're gonna do a test drop a purple heart or blue heart a purple or blue heart if you made it this far into the video because if you do then i really rock with you and i mess with you because you really watched the video full out 
um i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel once again we are on the road to 500 500 by the end of october hopefully we can reach it and i will see you guys in my next video Thank you.